Hello everyone. Um, tonight I'm just having some fun with some uh, macro and multi mogs here. Um, this is actually Alan Gary Campbell's uh, ma uh, multi mog that I restored, and that's my little macro mog I've had in pieces for probably about two years. So I decided to put it together today and calibrate it. It, uh, it had some thermal issues. I had to end up replacing a 3046 for the uh, current source. It was actually drifting, so I replaced it and. Uh, then recapped it, got it all working. Because you can see it's not the prettiest one, but it, it does work really well. But uh, anyways guys, I'm just going to show you something I've been playing with tonight um, that I don't know if anybody's really experienced, uh, experimented with. Um, what I've done is I've actually got this rigged up right now, as you can see, with gator clips. But uh, I'm taking the modulation output, and actually you can use a... Uh, you can actually still get this jack. It's a little smaller than the quarter inch. It's a, a 0 0.206, 0 0.206 inch uh, phone jack by Switchcraft. And these are still available, and that's actually the Mauser part number, if anybody's interested. Um, but they're not cheap. These are about $6 parts, but they're really well made. And of course, you know, they're Switchcraft, so they're, they're really high quality. But um, anyways, guys, what I've done here is just to show you what I've got going on. I'm using the open interface system, which is by Moog for the MIDI days and as you can see I got my my S tray cable here which is actually a true vintage Moog cable and uh, then I'm using a CV line from the keyboard uh, keyboard CV of the multi mode to drive the micro and then you have to calibrate it but uh, anyways what I've got is I've got the the signals routed from this modulation jack which you can see my frequency here on on this and this is actually this modulation source I've got it routed to the uh, pressure bar input of the multi mode so the harder I hit the key, you'll actually hear this modulation come into the to the um, the force, the force sensor. What I've also done is I've routed the force sensor output of the multi mode into the filter input of the um, micro mode. And so basically, just what it sounds like, I'm going to turn down the micro mode for right now. And this is just just the multi mode. And as you can hear, when I first hit the note, you'll just hear just the modulation source from the uh, multi. But as I hit the key harder, you'll actually hear the modulation source from the micro come in play. So here we go. <laughs> So you got things like that. Kind of bland, but when you actually add this Moog too, and I got this Moog on uh, self oscillation. And uh, just to kind of show what this sounds like now, is the pressure bar is actually controlling the filter on the micro Moog. So here we go. that. But also I can engage some uh, film synthesis to the filter. You get things like this. And we'll turn it down to, to a weak signal. Right there. Now. Turn this up a little bit. just a little bit. As you can hear, it's pretty wild. It uh, does some really cool things. And uh, so anyways, and you can actually pass that into any of the uh, inputs. You got several CV inputs on the back of the multi -moke. Um I'm not sure if I can get a good view of it. Let's see if I can see it here on camera. Anyways, what you've got for your inputs, you've got, it's like you got filter. Let me see if I can zoom in here a little bit, kind of an odd angle. Yeah, you got your on off controls, but I'm like experiment with those next. Um, you got your filter, oscillator A and B, S trig, audio, and touch effects, touch mod effects, and that's your inputs. And then you got your outputs, which is your um, ribbon controller, which is actually this ribbon over here, which you can route um, to work externally as well. 
And uh, so it's just really cool, guys. Uh, just something I was playing with and thought I'd share this. But um, I'm going to try to make a cable. And because uh, all I got to do is right now, what I've got going on is I got just this uh, Gator Clips to a uh, a 2.5 millimeter cable into a uh, quarter inch. So basically, I'm doing the same thing. I'm just using Gator Clips. But uh, anyways, guys, thanks very much for watching. Just thought I'd share this. Take care.